The last few years of emulation development have brought new applications that allow you to run multiple emulators in one central place. This certainly helps when you are trying to run a massive collection of emulator and game ROMs, especially if you would like to set up a front end, something I'll be covering later. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at two popular multi-emulator applications and break down some of the interesting features that are available for each one. RetroArch has become the most popular multi-emulator to use and for good reason. Its intuitive interface allows for more options, making it more suitable for setting up on home TV displays. RetroArch also supports several operating systems which include Android, Windows, iOS, and Raspberry Pi. The features of this multi-emulator are astounding as it supports rollback netplay, several popular emulators, literal game-changing settings, and a bevy of customizable display features that you can use to give your games a unique look. The support for this multi-emulator is ongoing and the list of supported emulators continues to grow, making me feel that they have only scratched the surface of its development. While it still has a ways to go in Netplay support for specific emulators and game ROMs, it's by far, in my opinion, the best multi-emulator available right now. Mednafin is definitely another multi-emulator that has gotten a lot of praise within the emulation community. Where it differs from RetroArch and other multi-emulators like it is mainly with its interface, which uses a command line interface rather than the graphical user interfaces we are used to. While this may be off-putting to some, you will be happy to know that there is a great front end available for Mednafin called Mednafi that gives you the wonderful GUI that many are accustomed to, taking away the complexity you would have to deal with in the command line offering. Like RetroArch, Mednafin also has Netplay available, though I have only had the experience of playing on it once, and I'm not sure what style of Netplay it uses. With that being said, connecting to another user is as simple as choosing the game you want to play and jumping on an available server. Manafin features a mixture of both popular and original emulators. Their PlayStation emulator in particular has become the most recommended emulator out of the ones available, and their Saturn emulator, which is still getting support, is one of the key reasons I suggest this multi-emulator in particular. Manafin supports Linux, Windows, and Mac operating systems. As usual, We'll be taking a deeper dive into both of these multi-emulators, so make sure and keep that alarm bell on because they are on the way. This is Decor, your resident entertainment techie, signing out.